Hello, it is Christmas Eve and I am ready to start another reading vlog. What's up friends? Welcome back to another video or welcome if you're new here. My name's Alex, my pronouns are he, him, and this is my channel Pucks and Paperbacks where I create themed reading vlogs. I just finished up my advent calendar video where I have an advent calendar control my TBR, so if you haven't seen that, it'll be linked up above. I'm waiting for the captions and today I am going to do a 24 hour reading vlog. So I haven't gotten a lot of Christmas reading done like I planned. Just this whole month has not gone as planned at all. So I already had this planned for this week, but since I got sick, I didn't really get a chance to do it. So we're just gonna do it now. I am going to be attempting to read as many Christmas related books as I can from today, which is Christmas Eve, to tomorrow Christmas. Let me preface this because I will be reading novellas and short books. So if you don't want to watch me reading short books and novellas, then please just click out of the video it's not for you. I have a ton of other videos you can watch. If you do want to watch that, let's go over my TBR. I was planning to read this anyway, but I recently got The Mistletoe Motive by Chloe Lisi, and I wanted to read it because it has type 1 diabetes rep, and that is good research for my current work in progress that I'm revising. So we've got that. It also has demisexual rep. I also have Sweet on You, which is a Filipino Christmas romance. I also have Her Night with Santa by Adriana Herrara, which I just read her other novella in my Queer Lit Readathon vlog, which was Mangoes and Mistletoe, which I really enjoyed. So I'm excited to read another female-female smutty romance from her. Her romances are so steamy and I'm really excited for this. And I think those are all of my like e-copies. I might have missed something, but I also have these. <laughs> now this is very ambitious. I'm probably only going to get to like three books, but I also have This Winter by Alice Oseman, which I picked up because I asked you which books I should read because I wanted to know what I should read for this video. And someone recommended This Winter by Alice Oseman, which is perfect because I just read the recent like comic that she updated. I follow the Heartstopper comic on the Webtoon app, so I just read the last one that she just updated. So this will be fun to get back into this world. I also have The Cat That Came For Christmas, which I really want to read. I don't know if I'll have time for it, but I really hope I do. And I also have Anna and the Apocalypse, which is a movie that was just novelized. I've had this for a while because the publisher sent it to me and I just never got around to it. So hopefully I can get around to it in this vlog. Very ambitious. It's already 2.30 and we have to get our reading on. I am going to start with Sweet on You because it's only 61 pages and I believe it's about baking. So let's get up my stopwatch. Start. <laughs> Hello, I am currently reading Sweet on You. I am only 4% into the book and I realized that it is actually like a full novel. It is uh, 263 pages and I'm actually enjoying it. It's set in the Philippines and it is going to be like a rivals to lovers I feel like because we have a barista who owns a coffee shop and then a bakery moves in next door and she is not having that at all. She's very upset about it. And so we'll see what happens. Christmas just started, but I think I'm going to just go to my shorter book. So I'm going to pause that for now and I'm going to start Her Night with Santa because it's 61 pages and I just kind of want to get my short books out of the way because then tomorrow I can focus on my actual like novels. So I'm on hour one and I will update you when I have my first book read. <laughs> Oh, 
friends, it is hour five. I actually stopped the recording when I wasn't reading because I just kind of wanted to track when I'm reading. So I don't know if that messed things up or not. It probably did, but I think it was only like an hour or something. But I am still reading my first read, which is Her Night with Santa. And oh my god, Adriana Herrera is like my new favorite person ever. I am about to just read all of her books because she is just awesome. I said this in my Queer Lit Readathon vlog when I read Mangoes and Mistletoe, but she just writes smut so well. So I will give a warning that if you don't want to listen to me talk about smut or any romance, there will be a timestamp down below. But oh my god, this is amazing. Basically, it's a female Santa and we have a lot of sex and it's fucking amazing. I love her so much and I just want everyone to read her who is a fan of reading smut. Even if you're not, you actually might really enjoy it because I wasn't a fan of smut until reading her and I love this so much. Or not even that I wasn't a fan, I just wasn't someone that was interested in reading it until I read Mangoes and Mistletoe. I just love her writing. She's awesome and her characters are great and it's just a fun time. It is insta-lovey but you know that going in. Just having a brown female Santa who is also queer is so awesome. I'm just loving this so much and just she has thought about everything and I'm loving this. So I am 52% in. I'm hoping to finish it up right now because it's currently nine o'clock. We just finished up the gingerbread houses that I had from Walmart from my video. So that was pretty fun. And now I'm looking forward to reading more of this. It's just a fun read. I'm loving it so much. I got it for free on Kindle because it was free. I don't know if it's still going to be free as an ebook after this video, but if you're interested, definitely go and pick it up. I'll have a link down below. I'm just loving it so much and I can't wait to keep reading. <laughs> currently seven hours into my 24-hour readathon and I just completed my first novella and it was only 49 pages and the fact that it took me like five hours to read is just embarrassing. <laughs> I am like the slowest reader ever. I just get super distracted but I really enjoyed this. It was really good. I just love Adriana Herrera. She's just awesome. And this was just so fun to read. I'm going to give it a four out of five stars just because at the end I was kind of getting bored. It kind of felt like a little repetitive, but overall I loved it so much. So if you're looking for more queer holiday books to read, highly recommend this. Like I said earlier, it'll be linked down below. I am so glad I got this for free because it was good, but I would also pay for it. Now, I'm going to read This Winter. I'm very excited to read it. It is 100 pages, so that means it'll probably take me all day. Uh, it's 11 o'clock. I would like to try and finish it, and then tomorrow I would like to start The Mistletoe Motive, and then we'll see what time I have left. Uh, I still think if I read three books, it'll be really good, so I'm excited. I'm also trying to hit 100 books for the year. I think I'm currently at 92, so this is going to help me so much. Anyway, I'm going to get started on this. I'm going to update my story graph because now I will be 93 books ahead of my goal. <laughs> Hello friends, we are doing pretty good on reading. What I've been doing is I am actually just calculating 
the time that I read. So I just stop it after I've read because I want to have an actual full 24 hours of me reading. So currently we are on hour 10 and I completed This Winter by Alice Oseman. I read it at like one o'clock in the morning and I really enjoyed it. I love these characters and I thought it was really good. I really enjoyed this. I just love being in the world of Charlie and Nick and it's just so fun. There is a trigger warning for eating disorders. We do follow Charlie as he is still in recovery for his eating disorder and I really enjoy the conversations. What I really enjoyed about this is that it focuses on Charlie's family. So we get a perspective from his sister, Tori. We get a perspective from his brother, Ollie. And then we get Charlie's perspective when something goes down at Christmas dinner. So I would recommend this to fans of Heartstopper and anyone who just wants to continue reading in the Heartstopper universe. Though, do look out for the trigger warnings for eating disorder. There is a mention of self-harm, but there's no like graphic depiction of it. It's just mentioned. There are comments about mental health that are very poor taste, but not because of the author. It's just the characters. And we also have talk about Charlie going to inpatient for his mental health and so there is a lot of mental health conversations. So if you're not looking to read a book about mental health, then I wouldn't recommend this, but I really enjoyed it and I'm glad that I read it. Now it is Christmas. I am going to start my next book, which is The Mistletoe Motive. It is another novella and I'm super excited to read this one. I looked through it a little bit and each chapter is a playlist and I'm really excited. So I'm going to get started reading that and I will be back later. Bye. Hello, I am currently on hour 14 of reading. I am in the middle of the mistletoe motive and I'm really enjoying it. I've always wanted to write my own Christmas book or novella, so it is helping me kind of brew one in my head. If it ever happens, I would like to do it because I don't see many Christmas stories where trans men are the main character, so why the hell not? I am in the middle of the mistletoe motive. I'm really enjoying it. I am 25% into the book, currently on chapter four out of 10, but there's also an epilogue. This is my first Chloe Lisi and I'm really enjoying it. It's set at a bookstore. We have a rivals to lovers situation going on and we are just kind of trying to save this bookstore. And I peeked a little bit just to see what I'm looking at in terms of how long this is actually going to be. I saw Why Don't We? There is a chapter dedicated to you and me at Christmas by Why Don't We? And if you follow me on Instagram or Twitter, I love Why Don't We? They're one of my favorite boy bands. I love them so much. They're great. And I highly recommend them if you're looking for more boy bands to check out. I just love them so much. And I'm so glad that they're recognized in this book. I'm so excited to get to that chapter. This is an own voices book following a girl named Natalie 
she was autistic and demisexual and it's interesting just learning about her relationship having demisexual rep in a romance is really cool to see just because it is a different experience than just reading a traditional Christmas romance and I'm really enjoying it anyway just wanted to update about my reading I'm gonna go back to reading and then I will update you hopefully when I have finished the book or when we get to the why don't we chapter on it. Without spoiling the book, I have to say, I am very happy to have some hockey in this book. That's why I got very excited in those other clips because uh, we're at a hockey game. Something was just revealed about our uh, love interest and oh my god, I wish someone would have told me earlier that this had hockey in it because I was planning to read it but hello, why is no one marketing this saying that it has hockey in it? Because if you did, I would have picked it up so much sooner. I thought I had pre-ordered it because it's a Kobo original, but apparently I didn't, so I just had to buy it anyway. But, oh my god, I am so excited for the hockey that I'm literally just going to keep reading because I love what just happened. At hour 19, I finished The Mistletoe Motive, giving it a five star. It was fantastic. I loved everything about this. The sex scenes were awesome. Who knew that 2021 was my year to discover a love for steamy romance? Who would have thought? I really am enjoying reading these and I'm definitely going to continue reading them because they're so fun to read. I love them so much. Definitely going to check out more of Chloe Lisi's work because this was freaking awesome. I loved it so much. I don't really have words. I just thought it was awesome and I highly recommend it if you're looking to read a slow burn romance that has arrivals to lovers and is all about Christmas and is super fun. This is definitely a romance that I would reread every Christmas. Definitely going to reread it next year. It was so good. The audio was also great and I just had a fun time reading this. We have You Got Mail plus a bookshop and arrivals to lovers and hockey what more could you ask for this was like my perfect christmas romance and now i'm going to end out this video with a gay male male romance about queer found family however my ipad has to charge and that's where i read my ebooks so i'm going to wait for that to charge and then i will read my final book I have six hours left, so definitely think I'll be able to read that novella in that time frame. I'm having a fun time with this reading vlog, so I am excited to read my last and final book. I was getting tired last night of just reading a lot because I haven't done that in a while where I just read book after book after book, but I'm having a good time and I will end this video out with a queer found family book. Hello, it is time to read. <laughs> my iPad is still charging, so I'll probably just read this on my phone until my phone dies. My last and final book is Handmade Holidays, A Little Village Novella by Nathan Burgoyne. I saw this recommended by Shira Glassman, who is another queer novella writer. I really enjoyed her novellas Fearless and Knit One Girl 2. They're really good and I'm excited to read this. I read that it's a queer found family book and it has a male male romance and it also has positive trans side characters. I was looking to read a trans novella 
and this was the best one I could get that I haven't read already. So hopefully I can find more for next year. So if you do have any recommendations, leave them in the comments. But I am about to read the last and final book of this video. Let's get started. I need to update about this book because I'm loving it so much. This is a book that I'm going to recommend to everyone. I think a lot of people will enjoy it. It is so good and I need to talk about it. I'm only 49% in but I am loving this so much and I need to talk about it really quick. It's about this guy named Nick. He's gay and we follow him throughout his life every Christmas. So him and his friends start a tradition called the Christmas of Misfit Toys where all of their friends who are not accepted by their families can just come and decorate his Christmas tree. They all bring an ornament and it is such a fun book. I am loving this so much. I have not really had a book that made me glued to the screen like this one. I just sat for about an hour just reading through it because it's so good and captivating. I'll have a link down below if you want to pick it up. It looks like this author has other Christmas related books. This is the Little Village series and I'm definitely going to read more of the author's works. We have a trans woman character who comes out throughout the book which is really good and I really enjoy the way that that was done. We have just so much found family and just queer joy and I love this so much. I'm gonna get back to reading it but I needed to just update because everyone needs to read this book if they're looking for a new queer holiday book to read. It is so good and I cannot wait to read more of it. Honestly, I don't, know, I don't want it to be over because I'm loving it so much. The only complaint I would have is I'm having a hard time tracking the time period. This book came out in 2017. It's also set in Canada. So I'm just wondering where the time frame is and I'm not getting that. But I wish every chapter just had a year because it says like first Christmas, second Christmas, but like why don't we just have like first Christmas and then a date or even just a year. Like I want to know where we are in time because I'm confused. Anyway, I'm going to get back to reading because I'm super excited to finish this, but I don't want to finish it because it's so good, but I'm just excited to read it. So I'm on hour 20 and I'm going to get back into the book and wrap this video up. And at hour 22, I finished Handmade Holiday, giving it five stars. Oh my god, I love this so much. Oh my god, this was so awesome. And I will wrap up the video tomorrow. Welcome to the end of this video. If you stayed until the end, comment a hockey emoji so that I know you stayed and let me know in the comments what your favorite part of this video was. And if you've read any of these books, let me know what you thought of them. All of the books I read in this video will be linked down below with an affiliate link. If you click it and buy any of the books I mentioned in this video, it will not be an extra cost to you, but I will get a small commission and that will help me make more videos like this one and just be able to afford the books that I read in these videos. Anyway, let's get into my reading wrap up. First, I read Her Night with Santa by Adriana Herrera. I loved this so much. I gave it a four out of five stars. It was such a good female female, female, steamy romance. And like I said already, I just am loving her so much and I cannot wait to read more.
Then I read This Winter by Alice Oseman, giving it a 4.5 out of 5. I enjoyed the illustrations and the conversations and just being back in this universe. Next, I read The Mistletoe Motive by Chloe Lisi, giving it a 5 out of 5 stars. The romance was great, the soundtrack was great, and we had hockey, so what more could I ask for? This was perfect. I loved it so much. And finally, I read Handmade Holidays by Nathan Borgoyne, and I loved this so much. Also gave it a 5 out of 5 stars. It was a great queer found family, and I want to do this tradition in my own life. It was just so fun to read, and I loved it so much. And that was me reading Christmas books for 24 hours, even though it was 22 hours, but I attempted it. If you would like to see more videos like this, I have a whole playlist filled of reading vlogs and you can go and watch my advent calendar controls my TBR video that I recently posted in case you missed it. I recently checked my analytics and it says that 31% of people who watch my videos have not subscribed. So if that's you, feel free to hit subscribe right now. I have a lot of fun content and projects coming out next year. This will be my last video of 2021. However, I will be posting some things on Patreon. So if you would like to follow me there, you can pledge $1 to become a paperback pal. And I'm going to be having a lot of fun over there next year as well. I just have a lot coming and I'm really excited to share it with you. I hope you have enjoyed all of the content I've been creating. Thank you if you recently subscribed. Thank you if you've been here forever. And just thank you for watching my videos. It means so much to me. So I will see you on Monday with my first announcement. Bye.